Yo, what's going on guys? It's Plinko here. Welcome back to another Fortnite Battle Royale video. I hope you guys are having a fantastic Friday afternoon. We're going to be doing something a little different today. We're going to be going over the uh, patch notes and everything you need to know about Season 3. Everything that's changed, all the new stuff, all that good stuff. So uh, I'm on the Fortnite website. Anybody can look at this. Uh, it's The link's up here. I'll put it down in the description too if you want. But uh, they list all their patch notes for every update here, if you were not aware of that. Uh, let's see, the Season 3 Battle Pass is now available in-game, uh, and they've actually added some new stuff. So they've added uh, new outfits, obviously, but they've also added skydiving effects, which is like the little trails you leave behind when you're skydiving uh, out of the battle bus, which is actually pretty cool. And you, So you can now unlock different... Uh, styles of skydiving effects whether it's like smoke or rainbows or fire those are just a few of the ones that I've seen um, they've also added new backpacks or back bling is what they're calling it where you can either put a shield or a backpack on your back and you can uh, you can actually choose this separate from your skin so if you have the black knight you don't have to have the black shield on your back you can put any shield you have or uh, one of the backpacks or new back bling uh, items that you can unlock. So that's pretty cool. Uh, they've added more tiers. They added 30 more tiers to the battle pass. So there's now 100 tiers instead of 70. But they're claiming that it should um, take you about the same amount of time to unlock. So um, that is interesting. I'm curious to see if that is actually going to be the case. Um, this is big news for console players. Uh, they have added 60 uh, frames per second on console. Console has been locked at 30 frames per second ever since launch. I think they had 60 frames per second uh, for like the first week or something and then had a bunch of problems. So they, they downscaled it to 30 frames. And that has been a huge issue with fast building, uh, lots of input lag, etc, etc. So the 60 frames per second is going to help players on the PS4 and Xbox tremendously. Uh, they say it's going to provide an extra smooth gaming experience while maintaining visual fidelity. So pretty excited about that. Uh, this is actually for Save the World. It is a hoverboard they've added, but this kind of applies to, um, to Battle Royale as well because a lot of times they'll test out stuff in um, Save the World mode that gets added into Battle Royale. So what do you guys think about them adding a hoverboard into Battle Royale? I'm, I kind of like it without vehicles. I know all the other games like PUBG and H1Z1 uh, have vehicles. I kind of like it. It's a little different. It adds to the building aspect. Plus, I don't know how that would work. Like if you ran into a building, could you just like run through it or run over it? I don't know how fast it would go. So let me know how, wh what you guys think about that uh, down in the comments for sure. Okay, so here's some uh, something pretty big. They have changed the uh, building. They've added building improvements. Uh, I'm just going to read it. They said that we've hammered down some upgrades, turbo building, automatic material change, and more. Check out the building improvements. And uh, so uh, we'll get into that in just a moment, this uh, turbo building for sure. But the automatic material change is going to be huge. Uh, so you won't be falling off the side of a cliff when you run out of materials when you're building up on a mountain or something. Um, this is a new weapon they've added in this update specifically for Season 3. It's called the hand cannon. It looks like a desert eagle. Uh, just it's it's probably really slow and uh, it does a lot of damage, obviously. So it says it's big, it's loud, and it packs a punch. Coming to both battle royale and save the world. So uh, I'm curious to see how that is going to affect gameplay. I, I'm curious to see how how the reload time is going to be and how loud. Like it says it's loud, so it's going to ring out like a sniper or something. So you're going to be able to hear this thing from across the map. So uh, pretty curious to see how that works out as well. These are just some general updates. They have uh, major improvements to building. We already went over um, some of this stuff. But uh, a new thing they have added is players can now build structures um, through trees, rocks, and cars. So previously you could build like through trash cans and street lights and like maybe fences or something and they would just break. Well, now you can just build through everything and the, the uh, material will just go through. So you can now build through trees rocks, all that stuff without having to worry about positioning and all that. So it's just going to make um, its quality of life. It's going to make building a lot easier than uh, it, it previously was. Uh, this allows for more freedom when building. Structural support still works the same way. Uh, so it's nothing's changed. You can just build anywhere now, basically. Um, here's another thing they changed with building. If you run out of materials while building, you'll now automatically switch to the next material. We already talked about that. That's going to be huge. Uh, you can turn this feature off if you 
choose to. I don't know why you would. Um, and here is the turbo building. You can now continuously place the selected building piece by holding down the primary fire button. So you can just hold down your build button while you're running up a slope and it will constantly build without you having to tap so you don't miss one accidentally and fall off the side of the mountain. Uh, so again, more quality of life changes to building, which I think is going to be huge. It's going to promote more people being able to build quickly, uh, which is going to even the playing field all around. Well, here's, here's one thing they have added to uh, Battle Royale is they've added a colorblind option uh, for anyone who has a uh, visual or colorblind uh disability or, or, or that kind of problem i actually have a little bit of colorblind so i tested that this out a little bit and actually worked really well um, this is gonna, found in the accessibility tab in the game's options so for those of you that are interested in that you can check that out as well um here's another pretty cool quality of life change holding down the interact uh, button when approaching a chest or a downed ally will now automatically perform the action once in range so this works for reviving teammates and uh, Grabbing chests. so this is just gonna make gameplay faster. You're gonna be able to revive people faster It's not gonna be that awkward moment where you try to where you stop to revive somebody and you're not close enough And then you have to like step a few more, you know steps. It takes a couple more seconds uh, So this is just gonna speed all of that up. So that's an awesome change as well um, let's get right into the battle royale all of these items. So as we said the hand cannon has been added Fires heavy ammo epic and legendary rarity found in floor loot treasure chest and supply drops I've actually been playing all day and have not come across this yet. So it seems to be pretty rare um, Pump shotgun behavior has been addressed. So this is a huge one that everybody's been talking about the double pump um, has been nerfed it has been axed rip the double pump um, I think this is actually a pretty good change because it, 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 it there was too much of a skill gap and uh, it obviously wasn't the way the game was meant to be played um, the, the pump should have a drawback I mean it does so much damage every weapon has a drawback um, the the tactical shotgun shoots quicker but it doesn't do as much damage so the pump shotgun should shoot slower but do more damage and that's what that's the way they made the game to be played and that's what they're trying to say by doing this so firing the pump shotgun and quickly switching weapons will now require you to pump the shotgun before the next shot so they have completely nerfed this um, it says that we'll be monitoring monitoring it uh, throughout the net this season seeing how things go with that uh, more bug fixes that I, I really didn't see too many people oh they fixed the cross crosshair reticle from disappearing in certain cases. Uh, this was when you were sniping or using uh, any any of the scoped rifles. When you switched from a scoped rifle to a, your AR, especially the SCAR, your reticle would disappear. So uh, they fixed that. Hopefully that won't happen again. It was very, very annoying. So I'm really glad they fixed that. Seems like they're, they're fixing a lot of stuff that uh, was, was really killing the game. Um, the rest of this stuff... Oh, they fixed the supply drop issue as well, where you weren't able to see the supply drops from long distances. Uh, I think that was when they they uh, they turned off the long distance render to improve and stabilize the game, and that also uh, made it to where you couldn't see supply drops from a long distance. So they fixed that now. Oh, the, the map can now be opened while spectating. That's going to be huge for squads and duos. Um, Full screen map now displays information about the buttons. The path of the battle bus is now visible on the map prior to launch. That's also pretty nice. You can now plan where you're gonna land uh, while you're in the pregame lobby. So that's gonna help as well. Uh, when you're spectating someone, you can now see how many kills they have. And the rest of this is just, again, bug fixes. Uh, they removed depth of field blur to greatly increase image sharpness for all players. So this is a big change where they've increased the uh, sharpness. Everything looks really good in my opinion. Some people are complaining about this. I think it looks really good. Uh, it makes everything just look nice and crisp and clean instead of like blurry and uh, a lot easier to see. So really good in my opinion. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Make sure if you did, make sure you subscribe to the channel for more Fortnite content. Appreciate you guys tuning in and we'll catch you guys on the next one.